Welcome back to Calumet County here on Discover Wisconsin. In the winter, when Lake Winnebago freezes over, thousands of people set up their shanties for a very unique fishing event, sturgeon spearing. Sturgeon are awesome fish. They're around here since the dinosaurs, so over 150 million years ago. And sturgeon are really synonymous with Winnebago. Early on, people recognized the specialness of Winnebago, and they put protective measures on the sturgeon here. So they controlled harvest a long, long time ago. And that's why we can have the harvest we can on this system. That's why we have such a large population, and it's healthy. Why did I start spearing? My dad was a sturgeon spearer. I started going with him when I was five. My uncles all did it, my friends all did it, so our whole group here, a lot of us have been spearing together for almost 50 years now. Sturgeon spearing isn't about being successful because there's only like a 13 or 15 percent success ratio. It's more about the camaraderie out here. There's nothing like the rush of seeing a sturgeon come into the hole, that's for sure. If you look at the station here where people come register fish, a lot of spectators come just to see the cool fish. It's a really a community cultural experience. A lot of people enjoy it and a lot of people get excited about it. A favorite stop in Chilton, no matter what season, is Vern's Cheese. They've been distributing some of Wisconsin's finest cheeses and dairy products throughout the Midwest for over 50 years. We are a third generation family owned business. My parents started it in 1964 and we've been going strong ever since. The selection here seems to have a lot of unique items. We have a lot of specialty cheeses that you can't just find all over. Besides the more popular ones, what people come to Wisconsin for is your cheese curds and string cheese. That's always a top seller. Well, I'm looking forward to sampling some of these. Oh, you can. <laughs> the bottom line is, if you love cheese and a wide variety of Wisconsin products, I mean, everywhere I look, I'm seeing some unique Wisconsin items from really all over the state. You want spreads, eggs, beer, wine, huge selection of everything. It's uh, all right here in Chilton at Vern's. And Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. For the tour and for the cheeses. And um, look that way. Okay. What? <laughs> from snowmobiles to snow blowers, winter wouldn't be the same without Aaron's company. And at the Aaron's Museum, you can get a look at the history of one of America's most trusted power equipment manufacturers. Well, we're standing in what was the original manufacturing plant for Aaron's company. Today it's been converted into a 14,000 square foot museum that covers the history of the American landscape. There's lawnmowers everywhere, there's snow throwers, and we're standing in front of snowmobiles, which was a brief part of Aaron's history. It's a small part of the history, but it's an important part of the history, and it's one that really resonates with people in Wisconsin. The museum really started in 2003, and it was a group of retired employees who pulled some equipment that was in the back of the building out onto a museum floor. Over the years, they were able to acquire more equipment, they added artifacts and exhibits. Today, we have a full-service museum that's open to the public 12 months a year. We offer guided tours, we offer school tours. We're very proud of our manufacturing heritage in the state. You can kind of immerse yourself in time and space when you come into this museum. A lot of museums, you can't touch anything. Here you can sit on just about everything. You can turn gears, you can learn about how things work. It's a fascinating place, really, for the whole family. I'm actually smarter walking out of here because I've learned things about how some of these machines work, and it's just an unbelievably cool place to check out. Want to learn more about our favorite places to visit in Wisconsin? Subscribe to Discover Wisconsin's official podcast, The Cabin. When we come back, we'll discover Calumet County in bloom.